what is going on guys thank you all so much for tuning in my name is Kyle and today we have a little bit of a different video for you all I'm actually not going to be collecting any machines or doing anything with my uh, personal vending business uh, but me and the wifey here are out camping and there's actually a little arcade over there so uh, I think we're gonna go uh, check it out in a little bit and I'll play a few of the game pretty uh, excited to go check out how the little mini arcade is uh, so uh, I'll take you all with me in just a sec all right, so here we are. This is the uh, campground. The pool is there to the left, and straight ahead there is the little mini arcade. First thing is a uh, Coke machine out front that seems to be out of order, so uh, definitely not a good start for this mini arcade here, seeing as how there's already things that are not working. Uh, now we have the, the pool table right there, and the... Um, air hockey table in front, a lighthouse game, and then the first claw machine on the right, and I actually do end up playing that one uh, while I'm here in just a little bit, but right now just doing a quick overview of what's in the machines and everything, not a whole lot of good stuff it doesn't seem like. Then we have a big buck uh, machine and guitar hero, both seem to be out of order. Uh, another crane machine that has the uh, balls with the little uh, bumps on them and then two racing games over here and then move left here got a change machine uh, for dollars to quarters uh, and then a bounty ball machine I actually like this bounty ball machine it seems pretty neat uh, it's a dollar and it does have a good coin mechanism that is a beaver coin mechanism so definitely one of the the better ones out there for sure might consider getting some kind of bouncy ball machine like this but let's go ahead and play some of the crane machines go ahead and put a dollar in there um, I didn't really see much of anything that I wanted in this machine but I figured I'd go ahead and try uh, now I did try it um, once before we were filming uh, and I did actually win uh, something on the very first try, a little pack of candy. Uh, but you can see I didn't get anything on that one. And I have one more play for my dollar. Go ahead and drop it down. I think I'm going for the little cheapo headphones there, but didn't manage to get them. So I'm going to move on and play a game of pool here. Uh, it's a dollar a game, um, something me and my wife like to do. Uh, we like to play a little bit of billiards. So go ahead and rack while she's racking it, uh, the, mach the uh, balls up. Go ahead and get out my pool stick here. Uh, got it at a pawn shop for like 50 bucks, so that's pretty neat. Uh, and then over here is the other claw machine that you guys saw just a minute ago. Uh, it is a dollar per play. I think it's a uh, play to win until you win or guaranteed win. But I only played it uh, this one time and I did indeed manage to win a little prize here. Uh, you'll see it in just a second. There we go. Got that little yellow ball. Go ahead and grab it out of the thing and then uh, go ahead and toss it over to the wifey there. Alright, so now it's time for the question of the day. It comes from the Nerd Swag and he asks, Digging the collection, have you placed any of the ones you have in storage? So short answer is yes, I have placed some of them, uh, but I still have some to place. Uh, and I'll go ahead and let you all see for yourself. I'll go ahead and flip over to uh, some of the machines that I have fixed up and ready to go. Uh, as well as kind of give you a brief little glimpse at the storage unit uh, that I have everything in. Uh, so you can kind of have an idea of what still needs to be placed. Alright, so these are the machines that I have upstairs in my apartment currently. Uh, this one is a single head gumball machine. It's a Northwestern. Uh, definitely a good machine here and can't wait to find a nice home for it. Uh, a little bit of a spoiler, I actually do have a place uh, that I'll be telling you about in a few videos. I'm actually a little bit ahead on filming. That's the another Venn design and this is a... Uh, um, a shooting hoops machine a big fan of this one here go down and this is a storage unit that comes with our apartments um, get a little bit of free storage here but as you can see there's a few machines in there but not 
not an excessive amount by any stretch but go ahead and open up the lock to give you guys a little bit of a closer look on what I have that still needs to go out little box of parts there on the right but we have one two three and about four or five of the event designs that need to go out and that northwestern there now these uh the rest of the machines back here um need parts before they're ready to go out um the ones with the big globes or the shooting hoop ones that are missing coin mechanisms so definitely need to get some of those but that's pretty much what i still have to get out there and get placed before i buy some new ones all right so checking out of the campground there was a claw machine a foosball table machine and then this very nice uh, spiral gumball machine with a coin a beaver coin mechanism so definitely a really great machine there so i had to uh support my fellow vendors and go ahead and grab a gumball all right, so that is going to just about wrap up this video. The wifey and I had a lot of fun on the camping trip, and I thought it would be neat to show you guys a little something different of me playing some arcade games. Uh, and there's actually a local arcade near me, so if you want to see a video of me going and checking out the local arcade, and playing some of the games over there leave a comment down below uh, letting me know that that's something you would be interested in seeing also please go ahead and leave a question down below for a chance to be uh, featured in the comment of the day anyway guys thank you all so much for watching as always uh, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you all in the next one